Hallelujah. I want to pray for... I'm starting now. I want to pray. I'm seeing... Uh, I don't know. I'm just seeing a. This is a couple, the way I'm seeing it. And on this couple, I want to pray for them because I'm just seeing problems around them. And I want to tell them something before I can call them. This is going to be a last bus stop because God is going to help you about what you're crying for. I saw a name called Shumani. I don't know if you know that person. Huh? Come. It's like you're shocked, you're so, you're quiet now, you're, you're afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I saw a name called Shumani, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if it's Venda, I don't know, I don't know. Huh? Yes. You're yeah. a vendor? Yeah. But it's like you're not married to a vendor woman. Huh? Yes. She's not, she not Zulu or something? No, she's Kosa. Mm, you're Kosa. No Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Give glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you people. I saw, I saw many things on you. I saw... On you, sir, we need to pray for your leg. Yes. Huh? Yes. We need to pray for your left leg. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's like it's giving you problems. Yes. Huh? Yes. But the major thing that has brought you here is not this leg. I'm seeing a problem on you, Mama. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing a problem of barrenness. Yes. For no many, children. For many years. For many years. Yes. I want to tell you something. Our job is to speak. Amen. After we speak, God is going to do something. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. Yeah. Because when I looked at you, I saw people talking, gossiping about you. And Holy Spirit said, I must tell you, you remember what I said in the beginning? I said, this is your last bus stop. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. God, God wants to give you a child. But we also need to pray for you, sir, because I'm just seeing a lot of complications in your body. Huh? Amen. If you go to the doctor, they are going to tell you a lot of stories. I'm telling you. So, but I believe after I pray for you, Mama, be ready. There's something that is coming. Amen. And this thing is going to heal your heart because you are worried too much. Amen. Huh? Yes, yes. And for me, <sighs> It's like when you're coming here, you're coming for that, for a baby. Huh? Yes. Um, I want to pray for you, and I believe God is going to help you. Okay. But another thing, say, I was seeing, it's like the enemy is trying to give you funny, funny diseases in your body. That's why you see your leg. This left leg is giving you problems. So it's just a plan of Satan to make you people that you must never be happy in this marriage. But I will pray for you, and I believe God is going to do something about this union. And Mama, I want to tell you, stop worrying today. Okay. Are you hearing me? Okay. Stop worrying today. Today, I will pray for you. you must, I want to pray for your brother. I don't know. I'm seeing a brother called Lucky. Huh? Lucky. Come. Is that your wife? Come, wifey. Thank you, Jesus. Allow me to pray for you. And after I pray for you, I'll be, I believe God is going to do something. There will be a restoration. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, say, Shumani, God is, has heard your prayers today. Amen.
God. When you married this woman, it's like there were people that were very much angry. They were saying, how can you marry a cross woman? I don't know. When you were marrying this lady. So, but I want to tell you today, by marrying this woman, you, you didn't do a mistake. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. This marriage is coming from God, and you people, you, you'll make it. You'll make it. God! Jesus, mighty name. Let me pray for your leg. Come here. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, do it for this man. Grant all his defects. You're healed, sir. You're healed. And there's a baby. The baby's coming. <laughs> Jesus' name. You're free. Say, so your name is Lucky. Huh? Yes. We need to pray for your family. Yes. We need to pray for your family because when I looked at you, I just saw a struggle yes. in the whole of your family. It's true. Huh? It's true. So today, there will be a breakthrough in the whole of your family. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. My brother, do you drink alcohol? Come here. Come here. Huh? Stop. When did you stop? Uh, around 2013, 14. You uh, must speak the truth. I saw from the people of Australia, I'm hearing a name called Anastasia, Anastasia, I don't know, Anastasia, I don't know, Anas, Anastasia, something like that. Huh? Anastasia. Huh? Anastasia. I want God to, to help you people today. You came with mama? Come. I also want to pray for you. I want God to heal you. You can stay away, far away from each other. I saw on you, I saw, I don't know, when I looked at you, I saw a bottle of alcohol. I don't know. I used to drink, huh? but I stopped. You I used stopped. to drink? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I used to drink alcohol. When did you stop? Nah. You must be careful because when I looked at you, it's like, for me, you're supposed to be very much far with life now. It's you true. understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I just saw a problem. It's like, the enemy is pressing every success. It's like everything that you're trying to do, Satan is pressing it down. It's true. Huh? It's true. So I want to pray for you that you must never go back. You, you must never drink again. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because sometimes you are tempted. It's true. Huh? It's true. You must be careful of friends also. I'll pray for you. And another thing, you must be careful of a disease. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you hear what I said? Careful huh? of disease. You must be careful of what? Disease. Every disease. Hmm. Because that's what I'm hearing now. Be careful. Because I'm just seeing that the enemy is plotting against your life. You people, I'm just brushing because uh, you, you are coming from there. There was a, uh, you, you received prophecy there, right? So I'm just brushing, brushing on top. So I'll pray for you and there will be a breakthrough in your life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. But don't go back and drink because I'm just seeing bad friends around you. Yes. Huh? Are you still with these friends? I'm seeing people around you. Nah, no. Huh? I'm, I'm no longer with those people. You're no longer with these people? No. I are even you? move outside Whitbank. The people I used to drink, they're in Whitbank. I'm in Katwin, Northern Cape now. You are in Northern Cape? Yes. I think it was very good for you. Amen. Because for me, these are the people that, were, you know, they were misleading you, making you to live a very long, wrong life. It's true. You understand my point? I know. So I'll pray for you. There will be a change in your life. Amen.
Don't. 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 Bring him in. Mama, we need to pray. Where's your husband? Huh? In Australia. Huh? In Australia. I want to pray for you and your husband. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but yeah. Huh? he has been here. He came here last time. He came here last time? Ah. So you're following him, eh? So he told you that you must go there. It's very good. <laughs> I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your marriage. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just seeing that the enemy is tempering with your marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because when I looked at your house, I was just seeing some funny, funny arguments in the house. Yes. Huh? Yes. So according to me, it's like there's a plan. The enemy wants to divide you people. Huh? Yes. And I want to tell you today, there's no spirit that will stand against your house and win. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So you came with uh, Mama? Yes. She's huh? my friend. Margaret. She's she's what? My friend. She's your friend. Yeah. I want to pray for her also. Come. I want to pray for her because according to me, there's a spirit that is trying to torment her. Mm. Huh? Yes. Does she know that? Yes. You speak English? Yes. <laughs> I'm an Australian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm seeing a spirit that is trying to torment you. Yes. Huh? So what happens when you sleep? I sleep well. You sleep well? You don't have bad dreams? No. Huh? I want to pray for you because I was just seeing a spirit that is trying to... It's like this spirit is making a life to... I don't know how to call this. It's complicating a life. Let me put it that way. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'll pray for you because to me, they also want to make you sick. Huh? Mm. You never went to the doctor? Me? Mm -hmm. No. I want to pray for you because I just saw a spirit that this spirit is trying to make you sick. It's trying to complicate everything about your life. But I'll pray for you and I believe God will stand with you. Amen. And this thing that I'm seeing... This thing will go. Are you hearing me? Thank you. Are you hearing me? Yes. And you, Mama, don't worry about this, this, this marriage. Because the plan of Satan, to me, I don't know. Where are your children? Australia. Huh? In Australia. We also need to pray for your children. Hmm. You heard what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because I just saw a spirit that is just trying to divide this family. But mm. this family will never divide. Touch you. My name. You're free, you're free. Come out. Come out. Mama. Which church do you people go there in Australia? Um, I go to Living Light and, Church. And Mama, which church does she go to? She going to, okay, we live in different places. Uh -huh. You can ask her how is she going. We're going to different churches. Come, stand up. Which church do you go to in Australia? New Hope. Huh? New Hope.
Ush, ush. I, I saw a plan. I don't know. I, I'm just seeing a plan that you want to do. It's like if I pray for you, you'll build a house. Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't know. I'm just seeing that if I pray for you, it's like, I don't know if it's your plan. I don't know. Huh? Yes, it, it is. is. Um, yeah? It is. It is? Yes. So when do you want to build this house? As Tomorrow. soon as possible. Because you were telling yourself that this house is small. Yes. Huh? Yes. I don't know if it's the house you're living in. I don't know. It's the yes. house we are living huh? in. Yes. It is. So I want to tell you there's a breakthrough of a house. It's coming. Amen. Amen. There's a house that is coming. stagnation anymore in your life. Amen. Because I was just seeing that many doors in your life are closed. Yes. I'll pray for you. There's money that will come. Amen. And this money, you'll be able to build a very nice house. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You'll build a very nice house. Jesus' name. mighty name. Lift her up. We need to pray for you also. Yes, You're a visitor. Yes, I'm a visitor, man of God. They called you that you must come here. Yeah? <laughs> so, hello, is your husband? Huh? Are you a Christian, sir? Huh? You can stand up. I'm trying to be quick so that you won't be bored. Sir, so you're free. You're free. Don't go back to your life anymore. And there's a breakthrough now in your life. Are you hearing me? Mashudu, where's your wife, sir? She's at home, man of God. Huh? At home, man of we God. We need to pray for you people. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man because of God. Because I just saw a spirit that is trying to temper with you. I just heard all I don't know. What is the meaning of Mashudu? Uh, huh? it, it's lucky it's my name. From today, that name is going to work for you. Thank you so much, man Are of you God. Are you hearing me? Thank you, man and of God. And because when I looked at your family, I looked at you, I looked at what's happening in your house. Yes, man there's of God. There's a lot of complications and there's poverty. It's true, man Do of God. you understand what yes, I'm saying? Yes, I hear what you're saying. I want to pray for you so that there will be a change in this whole house. Thank you, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Because you and your wife, I'm just hearing a problem of finances. I don't know. It's true. We are huh? in a financial problems. We are having I'm serious financial that you, problems. You must be careful because. If not, you can end up having a lot of debts. I don't know. It's true. Huh? It's true. It's true, man of God. I'm hearing that. Yeah, that is true. So I want to pray for you so that God must help you. Please pray for us, man of God. You understand my point? I get what you're saying, man of God. And there's a spirit also in your house there. This is a spirit where it's like, if you're not careful, huh? 
Yes, I'm man of God. Spirit. It's like something like a spiritual husband. Yes, sure, man of huh? God. Yes, man of God. I'm seeing a spiritual husband that, you know, is making you people to fight. It is true. We are always fighting. Huh? Always fighting, and man of God. And this lady, sometimes she feels like, you know... Yes, yeah, true. I understand what you're saying, man of God. Want to? So now I want to pray for you because I just saw a spirit entering in your house. Yes, man of this God. The spirit, when it reaches there, it's sleeping with your wife. Okay, man. Of After it sleeps with your wife, you people, you lose interest of each other. Pray for us. You man understand? Of God. Yes, man of but God. But I heard Holy Spirit saying, "My should do." Mashudu, today is your day. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Bring him here. There's a house that is coming. You'll get a house. In fact, you'll build a house. You're free. You're free. You're free, Mama. You just touch here. Stand up, you're free. Thank you, Jesus. You, won't, you and your wife, you won't separate. Thank you, man. You won't separate because I saw that problem. Thank you, man. Huh? Thank that you. sometimes you feel like she doesn't respect you. It's true. Huh? 100% men of God. Huh? It's true. So there's a solution. The solution Thank you. has come today. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Me? Thank you, man of God. And I'm seeing a breakthrough. Thank you. I'll, let me pray for you for a car. Come here. I'm just seeing a car. Thank you, man. Your name is Simpue. Huh? You must be careful. Come here. You must be careful. Where is your boyfriend? I don't have. Huh? I don't have. You must be careful because there's a plan of Satan. Mm, I've seen this. Huh? Yes. There's a plan of Satan. I'm just seeing that I'm seeing many people that are coming to you. Mm. Huh? It's true. But these people, when they're coming to you, they're coming with the wrong intentions. Mm. So I heard the Holy Spirit say, you must tell us impure to be careful. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear because you. Because the plan now is to give you children. Mm. That is the plan. Mm. And whereas I'm seeing you that if you follow God, with the whole of your heart, you'll be very much successful. Yeah. Business-wise. Yes. I'm hearing that. Amen. That if I pray for you, you'll be very much successful on the side of business. You understand my point? Yes, I do. So now, Simpiwe, be careful about boys. Because many of them, when they come to you, they promise you things that they can't do. And you end up telling yourself that it's better uh, I'm alone. Mm. Huh? I... Yeah, I couldn't walk easily. Mm. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. 
and he also mentioned the issue of barrenness. Mama, can you tell us how this problem was affecting you in your marriage and for how long have you been searching for a child? Uh, we got married in 1991, so since then we have not been having children. And it worries, it used to worry me a lot. Sometimes I would cry alone when I'm sitting and sometimes I would hear people talking about it in a way to ridicule me. So it, it really hurts. Mm. And also Prophet Simono said that this is your last bus stop. Do you believe that God is going to do something in your lives? Yes, I do. And how are you feeling? I feel good. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I would say they must always trust in God, put their trust in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Papa, what is it that you would like to encourage others? There's nothing possible with God. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Musima Mwasa. I'm from Katwin, Northern Cape, originally from Abrukman, Bochum. And the man of God, uh, Prophet Simon, was talking about uh, bad friends and also the issue of drinking. Can you tell us what was happening in your life? Yes, it's true. I was drinking and I was overdosing the way I was drinking and I was having bad friends in Whitbank just before I relocate to Katu. And then he also mentioned the issue that whenever I try to do anything in career-wise, I feel oppressed, and which is true. Everything that I try to do in career is not moving, but I think, I hope today, as from today, everything will start moving. Is that the reason that made you to decide to come here for a one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, that's true. And what is it that you have decided to do as the man of God told you that you should cut uh, bad friends from you? Uh, those bad friends, uh, for, it's, they are in Wheat Bank as we speak, and I relocated to Katu. So at least I'm having good people that I'm living with now, and he said it's for good. And he also said that if you do all of that, he's seeing breakthrough coming to you. Do you believe that this word of change indeed will happen in your life? Yes, I believe. Words of encouragement to the viewers? No, I encourage everyone to come to this place and experience the, the almighty moving in this place, the grace upon this place. Amen. Can you introduce yourself to us and tell us where you come from? My name is Busi Masego. I'm coming from Paraton, Pumala. So can you also introduce yourself to us? My name is Lucky Masego. I'm coming also from Paraton. The man of God, Prophet Andres Simono, called out your name, and then you also brought your wife along. Can you tell us what is it that he said to you? He said he is seeing us uh, building a beautiful house, and he prophesied that he's seeing a breakthrough in our life. We'll receive money to build a beautiful house for ourselves. And was that in your plans of wanting to build a house? Yes, it's been a... Uh, We've been house hunting actually for quite some time now without any success. And what is it that you believe God will do for you as the man of God has spoken a word of change upon your lives? Yes, we believe uh, that the, the man of God, since the man of God has prophesied, there will be a breakthrough in our lives and we will build the house of our dreams. Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy for us? Yes, I'd like to confirm the prophecy to be true because for the past year we've been house hunting with no luck, but now we believe that since um, uh, the men of God located us, then it's done. We receive the breakthrough. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I'd like to encourage the viewers to be um, people that think of themselves and do what the Holy Spirit leads them to do. Like if the Holy Spirit will direct them to come to charities, they should come and stop listening to people. Yes. And also, Papa, can you also tell us the words of encouragement to the viewers? The word of encouragement will be for every problem that you come across in your life, just submit to, 
Just bring yourself to God. Bring all your problems to God, and problem, God will give you the answers. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Mashudu. I'm from Pretoria. The man of God uh, called you by your name today and also talked about the issue of finances. Can you tell us about that? Yes, I would like to confirm the prophecy from the man of God that we were under a serious uh, attack financially. Our finances were not up to scratch, so we were struggling a lot financially. I confirm that. And when did this struggle start and how was it affecting you? Uh, it started two years ago when we bought the house. Uh, things were just not okay with myself and my wife. And he also spoke about your wife. Can you tell us about that? Uh, man of God uh, prophesied. He said that he saw a spiritual husband coming into my house. Uh, this is the spirit that was sleeping with my wife, which was making it impossible for me to be intimate with my wife. But he prayed for me. I believe that I am free, and I'm free indeed. And he also said that this spiritual has been discussing fights or division in, in, in the house. Were you guys fighting? Yes, it's true. I confirmed that we were fighting and we could not pick the cause why we were fighting. We would just quarrel over nothing. And for how long have uh, these fights been going on? The fights have been going on for the past three years now. And as you have received a word of change from Prophet Andres today, what is it that you believe that God will start to do for you and your wife? I'm um, expecting a breakthrough, uh, financial doors to be open, and a spiritual growth to be seen as well. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I'd like to encourage everybody who's going through the same problem that we're going through to come to Charis for their breakthrough, healing, salvation, and financial uh, breakthrough. <laughs> I think I spoke with you. So I was saying, I saw a breakthrough on the side of business. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, I understand. And God will give you a rightful man that will come and marry you. Thank you. So, but you need to be careful yes, about what I told you. Yes, I will. And there will be a breakthrough in your life. Amen. Who knows a lady called Dimakachu? Huh? I saw. Huh? I'm hearing a lady called. Huh? She's my wife. I just call her now. Dimakachu. Yes. Come here. I want to pray for you. I don't know. In your family, who was a Sangoma? Huh? At my home. Huh? They were used to do marombo dance at my home. They were doing what? Marombo dance. I'm seeing a spirit of idols. Yeah, we do have that at the You're home. Free. You're free. You're free. We need to pray for you and Dimakaju. I just said there's a lady. Yeah. I was just hearing this name, but there's somebody who knows this lady called Dimakaju. We need to pray for this person. She's my wife. She's, she's gonna, your wife. She's going to come tomorrow. I called her right now. She said she's fine. She's going to come tomorrow. Hey, I don't know that. I don't know that. Yeah. But I believe God is going to help you today. Because okay. when I looked at you, you people, you are suffering with the spirits. Yes, you are huh? right, man of God. You are right. I'm yeah. seeing a spirit of idols. Yeah, we are. We are it's, it's what. Are they not worshipping even now? Um, at home, they, 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 they are still worshipping. Because to me, this thing is like it's, your life is pressed. Yeah, you're right, man uh, of God. At home, they're still worshipping men, the, the, the idols and in Venda. I'm not seeing, it's like everything that you want to do, you struggle too much. Everything is stacking, I can't study. I, when I apply for jobs, they do call me for interviews, There's but I don't There's nothing good it. about you. I want to, mm. uh, we need to pray for your marriage. Mama, did you hear what I said? Sir, we need to yes. pray for your marriage. Thank you, Prophet. You and your wife. Because you, there's a plan of Satan. They want to separate you people. Thank you, Prophet. Huh, Mama? Yes. Are you aware of what I'm, t I'm saying? Yes. Huh? Yes. There's a plan of Satan in your marriage. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Prophet. And now, this plan is there are people that they were talking from his side of the family. 
that sometimes these people they are saying, this lady is not good for you. I'm telling what you don't know. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, prophet. But when I'm looking at this whole thing that I'm saying, it's like she's aware of some of these people. Yes. Huh? Yes, prophet. It's like you're aware of some of these people, funny, funny people in his family. Yes. Huh? Yes, prophet. These people, they're talking a lot of things. They're saying, you know, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. They are talking a lot of stories, but I want to pray for you. I want God to help you. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you, Prophet. Because you people, when I look at you like this, there's a lot of arguments between you. Mama, I'm seeing disagreements in the house. But I want to pray for you so that God must help you. Yes. I don't know if you understand my point. We understand, Prophet. Huh? We understand, understand your Prophet. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, we sometimes argue. Huh? We sometimes have unnecessary arguments. Are you yes. aware of what is happening in your house right now? I was not aware. You're not aware? Yes. Huh? I was not aware of the people who are against the marriage. She but knows. See, like, she's, when she looks around, she can see it's like there are people. She can't tell you. It's true. Prophet. She can't tell you. I'm telling you. It's like when she looks around there, there are people that they are not happy about it. You know, it's like they are pretending when they are singing. It's true, and prophet. And she can't tell you. It's, I'm telling you something that she can't tell you. Thank you, prophet. You Thank understand you. what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I want you people to stand together because this is a plan of Satan. There, this it's a plan of this enemy. And yes. I will pray for you today. This marriage will stand. You must be careful here in your stomach. I'm just hearing some complications. I'm pregnant. Huh? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Huh? Yes. The reason why I'm saying I'm hearing you must be careful because I'm hearing a pain. It's huh? true. On the side here. Yeah. It's true. Huh? So I want to pray for you so that the enemy must never tamper with your, uh, your, your pregnancy. Thank you, Prophet. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you. Jesus' mighty name. This is what, your second child? Huh? Yes. It's your second child? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Tell me. The first one is what, a boy? Yes. Huh? Yes. The first one is a boy? Yes, prophet. So this one you want a girl or a boy? A girl. <laughs> huh? A girl prophet. Because I'm just seeing a small boy like this. Huh? Whatever God gives me is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever God gives you. I'm talking about the firstborn. Is it not a boy? It's a boy. Like this? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> In Jesus' name, I set you free today. Jesus. You're free. You people, you're free. Say, so, I want to pray for you because I just saw a spirit of limitation. It's like whatever that you want, there's nothing. When I look at it, there's nothing. You are right, Ben You are right. In zero, zero, zero. 
when you apply for a job, there are problems. There are problems. Huh? They call if you me. work, you don't take long. Huh? Yes, if they saying. call you, there's no, it's not, there's no breakthrough in anything that you're doing. Yes, I've been retrenched uh, so many times. I think That's why I said if you work, you don't take long. Yeah, From there, they kick you out of the job. Yeah, there's an friend. idol in your family. Yeah, you're correct, man of God. So I want to pray for you. I was just hearing Salani. 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 Huh? Yeah, that's Salani. My, that's my vendor name. It's your vendor name. Yes. I don't know vendor very well. I was just hearing Salani. Salani. Today is your day. I want to pray for you. Mm. Let's kick out the spirit. Thank you, man of God. Don't! Don't! Your idol spirit. <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing in this man? Huh? Talk. Talk. I'm waiting for you to talk. Come out! Why are you blocking this man? Huh? Hey! Why are you blocking this man? Huh? Why are you blocking this man? Huh? You will talk today. Say, so, let's pray for you also. You must be careful of high blood. Okay. Are you hearing me? Okay. Because I'm just feeling your feet sometimes. You become tired easily. Yeah, my feet. Huh? Are, I your got feet. Pains. Sometimes they've got pains and they are, they become hot. Yeah. Huh? So they are doing like that. Come out. You idols! I command you today. I destroy you. Come out. Let's pray because I saw very soon if you go to the doctor, they will say you've got a problem with the heart because I was just feeling your feet somehow. It's like death, man of God. It's like, it's like death. So this is a plan of Satan to give you high blood. Okay. Come on. So I want to pray for you. But I'm just seeing your life. I don't know. Where's your wife? It's at home. Huh? At home. You people, there's a spirit of, of suffering there. Yes. Sir. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Sir. Even though you were having some... I don't know. Are you doing business? No, I was trying to do one. Huh? I was trying to do but one. But you failed. But yes, I failed. Huh? Yes, I failed. There's a spirit of limitation in your life also. Yes. But I want to pray for you because I was just hearing that you're supposed to be doing business. And yes. if you're supposed to be far with the issues of business. Yes. You understand my point? Yeah, and understand. be careful of accident. Oh. You never had an accident? A uh, long time ago. Huh? Long time ago. I'm seeing it coming back. Be careful. Come out! Come out! Come out! So you had an accident a long time ago? Yes. Sir. Huh? Yes. Ma Let's God. pray so that it must not happen again. Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, ma'am. I'll God. pray for you. I just saw a few things. I saw high blood. I saw there's a plan of accident mm. that I didn't know it happened before, but I just saw a car rolling like this. Then from there, there will be a problem. So I'll pray for you, and I'll stop all these plans of Satan. Yes. Lift up your hands. You're free, you're free. You're free, sir. You're free. You're free. You're free. Oh, Jesus. Let's make one. Why are you waiting? Come here. I was speaking to somebody. What's that? 
There's a job, sir. It's you. There's a job that is coming. Okay, thank you, my lord. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you, thank you. There's a job that is coming. Thank Why are you working? Jesus. I'm working for a medical aid. Huh? James Medical Aid. I don't know, but it's like... The, way, the reason why I'm asking you is because I saw small money. Yeah. Small, small money that they're giving you. Too much. Huh? Yes. And there's a plan. It's like, let's pray for God to give you a better job. Thank you, Lord. Because I saw the money coming in. When this money is coming in, sometimes you don't even know what you're doing with this money. Huh? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. And whereas there's a lot of responsibility. A lot. Huh? A lot. So I want to pray for you so that God can lift you up from this standard that you ate. Amen. You understand my point? Amen. Because this money, I saw, I don't know. I just saw very small money. So I want to pray for you so that God can take you to the other level. Amen. You understand my point? Yes. But it's like you're also praying for another job. Yes, I am. Huh? Yes. You're praying for another job. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I want God to lift you up like this. Amen. And give you something better. Amen. Lift up your hands. There's a turn around in your life today. My sister, I'm seeing a spirit. Huh? I'm seeing a. You must be careful. When you're sleeping, you don't dream snakes. Yeah, a huh? lot, a lot. I'm seeing snakes that are coming to you there when you're sleeping. And some of the snakes, they'll try to sleep with you. You understand my point? Yes. Because when I'm praying with you, I'm just seeing a snake in front of me. Huh? Yes. And this snake is, this is, this snake is causing problems in your marriage. Yeah. Do you understand my point? Yes. I'm seeing problems. A lot. That you, sometimes you even think of leaving this man. Uh, huh? It's true. Huh? It's true. No, talk. It's true. You want to leave him? I want to leave. I am tired. You are tired. I am tired. Ish. Because I just saw that when you're sleeping like this, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing a very big snake. This, snake's, this snake, when it comes there, is... It's making people to fight in a bad way. Too much. Huh? Too much. Because it's like one of the plans, they want to make you make this fight physical now. Huh? Yeah. Is he not beating you? No. Huh? No. There's a plan. Because I'm just hearing his temper sometimes. So I want to pray for you. Because to me, that's one of the things that has brought you here. Yes. The issue of marriage. Yes. Huh? Oh, yes. You, you wanted to hear from God whether to continue or not. Yes, because my parents now, they're saying that it's better I can take a divorce because we've been fighting now and then. You know, I, I last saw my, my husband on Sunday. Since then, I don't know where he is. Maybe he's in Nipopo or somewhere. I'm not sure. The only thing that he does is to come back in because the morning. They want you people to separate. It's a plan of Satan. They want you people to separate. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing now, they want to give him a girl. She does. I mean, he does have a girl. Huh? He does have a girl. He's having she... a girl now. Yes. They want to give him a girl. Maybe there will be another one. Maybe there will be two. 
So allow me to pray for you and God will fight for you. Amen. Are you did you hear what I said? Yes. Because you have tolerated is enough now. Yo, it's too much. You understand my tired. point? Yes. So I want to pray for you. God will make your way. Amen. Come out! You snake! Come out! Come out, you snake! Come out! You snake! Come out! Come out! You snake! Snake! Come out, you snake! Come out! You snake! Come out! Come out! What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? Hey, talk. What are you doing here? You snake, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, this lady? Huh? So you want to separate them? Huh? You don't want to talk. Hmm? Come on! You don't want to talk. Hmm? Talk. What are you doing, this lady? Hmm? I set you free in Jesus' name. You're free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? I'm Tintualo Maluleke from Mafikin. Papa, can you also introduce yourself to us? I'm Victor Maluleke from Mafikin. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? <sighs> With me, uh, the one for pregnancy, I didn't write it. I just pray that God must show one prophet that I'm on this stage. And indeed, God did it for me. And Prophet Andres also talked about the pain that you're experiencing on your right side. How was that affecting you? Yes, since two weeks, the pain has started. That's the reason I decided to come for one on one. And now that he has prayed for you, are you still experiencing the same pain? There's nothing anymore. I'm free. Yes. Papa, can you also confirm to us the prophecy you received with your wife? Yes, uh, I can confirm. I mentioned the argument which sometimes uh, happened in between us. Yes, we do have a uh, unnecessary argument sometimes. So that's a, that's a sign uh, for an attack on our marriage. 
So we, we could read this science. So it's true. I confirm that to be true. And were you expecting that God will tell you about what is happening in your house? Yes, we came expecting that. We know when we, once we come here, uh, everything will be revealed. And how do you feel now that you've been prayed for? We, we're feeling good and happy because we were just living on a dark, not knowing what's going on about our lives. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? I would encourage uh, viewers of uh, Charis TV uh, who have got problems and conflicts and uh, complicated situations to come to this holy ground, to come to this church so that they get their problems solved. There is nothing that is impossible with God. Amen. Amen. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Sydney Salani Pume. I come from Venda, but I'm staying in Midland. I'm working around here in Hoting. The man of God mentioned your name when he was prophesying you. Can you confirm the prophecy you received? Yeah, the, what the man of God prophesies is correct and straightforward. And he mentioned my wife's name, which I didn't give to anyone. The name is Dimakazo, and then it was a revelation, and my name is Salani. And what he said about me, about the adults and the problems that I'm having at work, being retrenched now and again, is correct. And then I've tried to apply so many jobs. I don't get called. Sometimes I get called, and then when I go for interview, things don't work out. So what the man of God said, it was absolutely correct. And can you explain to us the issue of idols? Because he said that this idol, it's oppressing your life. Whatever you try to do, nothing works out. Can you tell us about it? The issue of an idol is, is correct because this thing started while I was still started, started four in grade, grade, grade five. So I started having headaches when I was growing up. So I realized that when I'm studying, I tend to forget what I study. And then when I'm, during the exam times, I try to, I, 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 I don't write, I don't have good examination all the time. So I come back complaining all the time. So while growing up at universities, I. I failed so much. At UNIS, I think I did my degree in almost three, 13 to 14 years. So it took me so long to complete the degree because of the headaches and, this, and the stagnation that he talked about in my career. So what he, what he prophesied was correct and it's, 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 it's what God has, has shown him. And since you knew about the issue of an idol and how it was bringing oppression in your life, did you go somewhere else to search for deliverance? Yes, I did try to go to other churches. I was at a Zion church, and, and then they, they did tell me about it, but nothing nothing was done much to prevent it from harming my career. So that's why I, after this year, I just told myself I have to change because it has been too long while I was at, at Zion. So I wanted to change so that I can get a new perspective of my career going forward. So this is the change that I've decided. From June, I've been coming to Charis, and then I've seen so much improvement in my in my in my in my career when i study i tend to understand what i'm doing so even the prophecy today just confirmed that god is here god is watching me god is with me and god is busy delivering me every time when i'm here and now that they've prayed for you for deliverance how are you feeling i'm feeling light and since last week they prayed for me i've been light i sleep like a baby when i sleep i don't wake up often. I don't complain. I'm hopeful and then I'm expecting great things to come forward. Words of encouragement to the viewers? To all the viewers, um, I'm encouraging them to come and, and see the man of God for themselves. They will be blessed. They will see changes in their career. They will reap the rewards for believing in God. So everyone who's watching, please come, come and see for yourself. God is alive. God is here. God is healing people. God is delivering people. God is helping people through their troubles. So you can come and see for yourself. You will be delivered and things will be fine. Amen. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Bonani Tanyani, originally from Venda, but currently uh, staying in Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Okay, the first thing it was about the job. Yes, I am working like an elephant, but eating like an ant. So it's something that I've been praying about for so many years. I think it's about four years now. Because I've got a lot of responsibilities and my uh, the kind of salary that I'm getting, I don't... 
I don't see that I deserve it because according to my academic record, I think I am fine. So I do confirm that uh, that is correct and accurate. And what else is it that is the man of God said to you? Okay, the other thing is regarding my marriage. Here is the reason why I came to church, just a confirmation if really God wanted me to stay in this marriage or not. Because uh, lately we've been having a lot of fights since I got married. Uh, we don't actually have peace. And it's something that the family has intervened, my parents, and everybody has given up on me. So hence why I've taken a decision to come and look up unto God and see if really he wants me to stay or move out. And the challenges that you were facing, did it ever occur to you that maybe they are caused by spirits because when the men of God prayed for you, you manifested? Yes. I, I do believe that there is a spirit that has been fighting uh, uh, my marriage all along. That one, I just had a feeling. I never had any confirmation, but I have seen, according to, to, to my observation, yes, I can confirm that there is a spirit. Just that I was not sure if maybe it's on his side or on my side. But I do see that there was a spirit operating between us. And what is it that you believe will happen in your marriage as you have received deliverance? I believe my marriage has been restored. Then we can take it from there. And I'm hoping for another child now. At least I believe. <laughs> Words of encouragement to the viewers. Uh, keep watching Charis TV. Um, or you can come and join us in here in church and uh, hold on to the word. Amen. Papa, can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Masilela. I'm coming from Bumala. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Yes, I, I received a prophecy. Uh, the man of God told me that uh, my feet is it, it used to swell or used to be hot. Then I confirmed that. And then he even told me about to see the accident. And then he asked me that I didn't have accident. Then I told him I did have accident long time ago. And I even uh, told me about uh, the money in the home that uh, sometimes we use not to have money. Then I confirm it th that it is true. And the issue of the leg, how was it affecting you? Yeah, it affect me because I, I I can't stand a long time or go a long distance. Now it affect me because I'm working. And when it start to swell up, were you using anything? Yeah, actually I was using, when I'm going to churches, I used to take the oils of the church or something, which, is, which they use where I go in that church. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? No, at the moment I feel right. I don't feel any pain at the moment. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, the word of encouragement is that uh, uh, anything which is is impossible with the man, is possible with God. Thank you. How are you, ma? I'm good. Where is your children and your husband? I don't have any children. My husband is at home. I wish you'd come with your husband because there is a serious marital problem. I that you guys are facing. It's true. And right now it's as if both of you are about to give up on each other. It's true. I would like to pray for you. Hmm? Because where you are, or let me say in your families, there are a lot of people who are against your union. Okay. Hmm? And and there are a lot of spirits that are monitoring you with your husband. Because the, the thing that I saw, it was a marital problem that you guys are facing. It's true. And the second one was the issue of stagnancy, which also contributes to these problems that you people are having. But I want to pray for you. The last thing I saw is that we should pray for your health. Hmm? Because there are pains in your body. 
It's true. And at times they they hinder you into being yourself fully or into doing your day-to-day -day activities. It's true. Hmm? It's true. So I want to pray for you and God is going to set you free. Thank you. But I would ask you whenever you have time, please do bring your husband because both of you, you do need deliverance. It's not only you, okay. it's the both of you. Okay. All right? Okay. And another thing, you also need to bring him because the sickness that you are having, he has also started experiencing it. Okay. I don't know if he has told you about it. No, I he so. hasn't. No. Because the pains that you feel at times, he also feels them. Okay. So you need deliverance. Can I pray with you? Please lift up your hands. Close your eyes. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Cut. Cut. In Jesus' mighty name. Come. Don't don't go. Stand there. Yes, you. Come. You as well, come. Kana, you said you're not sisters. You're not sisters. But you're not, you, you're sure you're not sisters? Are you sure? He only met yesterday. You've, you've never met anyone before? No. I'm asking you this because the problem that you are having is the problem that she's having. Are you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Are you hearing me? Don't yes. we have another mic? Because your, your problems are similar. What's happening in your family is what's happening in her family. Hmm? Yes, we actually spoke about it last night before we went to bed at the guest house. And I was telling her my family problems and she was telling me her family problems. Then are, they, they're are they, similar. Are they not the similar? Yes, they are. Because yeah. it's, it's like you guys are having the same curse. That's why I'm, I'm asking or persisting in thinking that you are actually related. You understand me? Yes. yes. Because the stagnancy that she's having is what is happening to you. Both of you, you have career problems. Yes. yes. Both of you, you have family cases which leads to anti-marriage. Yes. Both of you, you have family problems which leads to untimely death and sickness. Yes. Am I right? Or yes. Or am yes. I suckling you people? You are right. correct. I'm right. right. Yes. So I want to pray with you so that God would give you jobs. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. And these jobs which will enable you to live a life that you were meant to live. Amen. Because every single thing you do, it's a struggle. Yes. Yes. Hmm? yes. Even for you to feed, it's a struggle. The way you, because I'm seeing the way you would be running around, given false, I didn't want to call them false promises, but you'll be running around, given promises, but those promises that don't mature yes, yes. and bring back anything. Yes, yes. So I want to pray with you so that God will break the spirit Amen. of stagnation. Amen. And you guys, you break the curse of anti-marriage in your family. Amen. Huh? Amen. So that you would open doors for everybody else. Amen. You hear? Yes. In Jesus' name. Out! Out! Jesus' name. What are you doing to her? Huh? 
What are you doing to him? Close your eyes. Jesus, man. Out! 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What are you doing to her? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Speak. What are you doing to her? Why are you blocking this lady? Why are you blocking her? No, no. No. Why are you blocking this lady? Huh? No. What do you mean by no? Why are you blocking her? Fire all over your body. In Jesus' name. Fire all over your body. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. Now leave. In Jesus' name. I destroy you. Come on, take out your things and go. Take out your things and go. Now. Now. Take out your things and go now. In Jesus' name.